got a splitting headache. Make us a black coffee, please, Donna. You enjoyed the party, then? Yes, I think so. You had a ball. Trust me on that one. I didn't do anything embarrassing, did I? No. Unless you count making a pass at Richie. I didn't. You did? Well, it weren't that embarrassing. It was quite funny, really. You should have seen his face. Oh, what am I going to say to him when I see him in the church? I wouldn't worry about that, Mum. After last night, I don't think he'll turn up. <laughs> the whole village will be laughing at me. Betty will have spread the news like jungle drums. I can't face him. I can't come to the wedding. Oh, yes, you can. This is my big day, and nothing is going to spoil it. Put your can down. You haven't got time. Put it down. Did you get it, Mum? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, did you sort of things out with your dad yet? No, he's flying back to a beef for this morning. He's not coming to the wedding. Oh, must be gutted. I don't care what he thinks. It's what me and Kelly feel that counts. And if you two still have your doubts, you can stay away as well. It's not going to change my mind. Yeah, all right, Roy. Don't get out of your pram where your mates will be there. I really hope things work out for you. They will. Me and Kelly are going to prove everyone wrong. Oh, you've got the dress. <laughs> Can't wait to see you in it, Kel. Me neither. Well, you're going to have to. No men allowed. Out. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, get everything sorted. Some borrowed, some blue. Come on, Mum. I hope you find stuff. Good. Gives us time to talk. What about? If you're really sure about going on with this. I thought you were my mate. I thought you were the one person who'd stick by me. I will. If you make me believe it's what you want, I'll fight anyone that gets in your way. Just cos your marriage to Butch was a disaster, it don't mean mine will be. I know, but a dog's for life, not just for Christmas. Are you saying Roy's a dog? Well, he ain't Leonardo DiCaprio. OK. I'm never gonna go weak at the knees at the sight of him. The earth ain't gonna move, but... I'll settle for being looked after. Sounds like you've made your mind up. You'd do anything to make me happy. You know... He ain't got much money, but he still spent every penny on a fabulous honeymoon just to please me. That's how much he loves me. Bye. So, are you running a book on this marriage then, Seth? There's no point. It wouldn't matter what odds I were offering, there's nobody would have a bet on it surviving. Hey, I thought you'd be on plane by now. I haven't should be Betty, but I couldn't. With the only child I've got left, I can't cut myself off from him. I'm delighted to hear it. There's no place for bitterness at a wedding. I just hope everybody wishes them well. I'm sure I do. Trouble is, they'll need more than good wishes when the going gets tough. Yeah, well, it's something to prove us wrong, eh? Nothing to give me greater pleasure. Hey, you can't get to a wedding like this, Ned. You need a suit. It's a bit late to go out about it now, isn't it? Tell you what, I'll run you into Hotton. Find somewhere to hire one. Betty, will you close up? Yeah, all right, love. All right, see you at the church. See you later. OK, see bye. You. You lads better get down to the village hall and check everything's all ready. No, we've already done that. Then do it again. OK, man, whatever you say. No, hang on a minute, Mandy. I'm supposed to make sure that Roy gets to the church. Well, if you don't let me talk to him, that ain't going to happen. <clears throat> What's up? You've not told Kelly about the honeymoon. N not yet. Well, she's just told me you're the one bloke that never lets her down. I reckon her wedding day's a bad time to start. Oh, I've wanted to tell her. I'm just not sure how she's going to react. I mean, what if she chokes me? Well, better now than after you're married. Could you not tell her for me? <sighs> if you're not man enough to tell her that you screwed up, then you're not man enough to marry her. And basically, she's better off without you. I just didn't know how, how to explain it to her. I mean, you're a woman. What am I meant to say to her? Tell her you love her. Tell her you're sorry and then you'll make it up to her and mean it. And if you're very lucky, she might give you another chance. I won't get on it. Just Let's go to the wedding, then. And what happens if there's an outbreak of foot and mouth or something, eh? Kelly's organised for the Robblesfield practice to cover. I'll give her that, though. She's certainly making sure nothing will spoil a big day. Oh, be fair, Paddy. She's been quite efficient lately. And she's certainly mastered the new computer. Yeah. Oh, uh, which reminds me, we ought to sell it all then on, put a nad in the clear or something. I might be interested. What would you want a computer for? I've been hearing a lot about this internet, and it's very interesting, and you're never too old to learn. Well, they have very little resale value, so if you want it, Seth, it's yours. Champion. <laughs> I wonder what Vic would have made of all this. He would have thought that no one was good enough to marry his little princess. Well, I don't know. After Tom and then Chris Tate. He'd have probably just been grateful that she's found herself a decent bloke. You know, someone who'll look after her. 
Roy, you shouldn't be here. It's unlucky for the groom to see the bride before the ceremony. Everybody knows that. Not this time. They've got something to sort out first. Where is she? She's in her room. Is, is there a problem? Nothing they can't sort out if they're left on their own. Oh, no. This is my worst nightmare. Not if you hear what you're told. You can't come in here and just start ordering us about. If you really care about Kelly, you'll get down to that church and you'll stall Ashley. Now. If there's a problem with Kelly, let me sort it out. No! We'll talk to Kelly, you talk to Ashley. Come on, Mum. I'll be down to explain things in a bit. Go on. I've not got much time. They're beautiful, sir. Well, we want the church to look its best. I love weddings. They always make me cry. They're certainly one of my happier duties. And it's come at exactly the right time. Something to brighten the village up after the funeral. Ah, come to check everything's ready. No, I'm afraid there's been a slight delay. Oh, what's wrong? We don't know. Whatever it is, Roy and Kelly are talking about it at the moment. Mandy said she'd come and explain in a minute. This is most irregular. Well, how do you think I feel? After Vic's death and all that we've been through, I thought this would be a happy day. She would be here, wouldn't she? Oh, I hate to worry anybody, but uh, the guests are arriving. What should we do? Just leave it to me, Mrs. Windsor. Uh, Scott, would you mind taking your mother into the vestry? I'll be with you in a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid there's been a slight technical hitch. If you'd all like to go and wait in the village hall where refreshments are provided, I'll send word as soon as we're ready to begin. What's gone wrong? I'm sorry, Betty. I'm not in a position to explain yet. I just ask for your patience. Kind of until the start of the reception before the wedding. <laughs> you look like there's going to be a wedding, Zad. Kelly's probably found herself a new block. One more remark like that and I'll put your teeth so far down your throat, you'll need major surgery to eat an apple. The wedding is not off. It's just been delayed. Yeah, like for a lifetime. I know she's your mate, Mandy, but we all knew this was on the cards. What's that? Wedding's off now. No, it isn't! Not yet. Sorry, Ned. It's like he didn't need the suit after all. <laughs> Typical. How could you be such an idiot? I'm sorry. Sorry? I've told everyone you're taking me on a sunshine honeymoon. They will be at the church laughing at me. The whole village. It's me they're going to be laughing at. I'm the one that's messed up. Well, is that supposed to make me feel better? Because it doesn't. I wish there was something I could say to, to make you feel better. Well, there isn't. I'm just a garage mechanic, Kelly. I'm not a night flyer. I, I probably never will be. But it's, it's not going to stop me doing everything I can to try and make you happy. I might screw up sometimes, but it's not going to stop me trying. If, if you'll let me. I love you, Kelly. I've always loved you. I, I think you know that, but but I'd never hold you to your promise if if I thought I couldn't make you happy. I can finish it now. If that's what you want. It's uh, it's up to you. waiting in the village hall. Well, it won't take me long to get changed. We could be ready in ten minutes. I think I'd like to hear a bit more about the problem first. Oh, it's just a stupid row. Yeah, well, my fault, but it's sorted now. We're just... We're going to have a proper honeymoon later. Are you sure it doesn't run a bit deeper than that? He's told you it's sorted. Now, can we please get on with it? The whole village is waiting. Kelly, a few moments of embarrassment now is better than a lifetime of regret. Do you want me to bring your parents in on this discussion? You'll have a tough job. My dad'll be back in Ibiza now. On the contrary. He was here earlier. And it's him that's stopping you? He can't. You're both very young, but you're old enough to go ahead without his consent. In a register office, at least. But not in your church. Ned's not all you've got against you. You haven't got very much money or a home of your own. Things are going to be hard, and you won't get through them unless you pull together. 
We know about bad marriages. Both brought up in them. Um, we're not going to make the same mistakes. Differences, uh, we love each other. That's what's going to get us through. I wish somebody would tell me what's going on. Yeah. What's going to happen to all the presents now? It's been called off. Well, I don't think the cancellation's official yet. It's just a rumour. Be realistic, Alan. My presence is more price to pay to see them come to their senses. Your old heart, Chris. Um, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen, uh, we've had a phone call. It's back on again. Oh. So if you all want to make your way to the church, the wedding's going to start again in ten minutes. You see, you old cynic, love conquers all. If you think love's got anything to do with this, you really are at the wrong wedding. Dad, uh, we're looking all over for you. I want to thank you for coming. You know my feelings, but nothing to give me greater pleasure than you proving me wrong. So let's not fall out about it, eh? Again. Don't worry, Viv. Everything's under control. Are you sure? Oh, you look beautiful. I suppose we ought to be getting up to church. We must have started by now. Ah, well. When you see him one way, then you've seen them all. I know, only bet you'll start getting on to me. No women folk could be too busy sobbing over the dress to notice if you and me are there. You're right. As long as we get there in time to be in photos, nobody will notice. Marriage is the way of life, created and hallowed by God, that Roy and Kelly are now to begin. They will each give their consent to the other, they will join hands and exchange solemn vows. In token of this, they will give and receive a ring. Therefore, on their wedding day, we pray with them that, strengthened and guided by God, they may fulfill his purpose for the whole of their life together. But first, I'm required to ask anyone present who knows a reason why these persons may not lawfully marry to declare it now. vows you're about to take. Women always share that we waste our time drinking and gambling. Now, these prove that they're wrong. Hmm? The Earl of Sandwich. Now, he sat at the gaming table 24 hours straight. And I expect he had a couple of jars or not. No doubt about that. First two work gambling. Being a practical man, he ordered some meat and a couple of slices of bread. Boom. And in one moment of inspiration, convenient food was born, which has been more of a boon to the ordinary woman than anything any of these, these do-gooders of feminists have ever come up with. Huh? I reckon we could drink that man's health. Mm. I uh, give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body, I uh, honor. With my body, I honor you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. In the love of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I receive this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. In the love of God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the presence of God and before this congregation, Roy and Kelly have given their consent and their marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the giving and receiving of a ring. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. 
May kiss the bride. That which God has joined together, let's no man divide. Yeah, little poor love with a noose around his neck. Why would you want to get married here? When you're smart, you can have it all without bothering, can't you? Hey, been dead quiet in here. How was the wedding? Oh, beautiful. I just can't wait till ours. Bet can repair me eyes. You think you're on a right cushy number here, didn't you? Don't know what you mean. She's too stupid to see what you're really like, so you'll reckon she'll keep you in style. Well, this pub does have its attractions. I'll say a few words. Yeah, fine by me. Go. Yeah. We haven't even heard the speeches yet. Oh, take your in, you won't even understand them. Come on, we better leave now or else we have to carry you. Oh, give us a break. Come on, lad. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to take this opportunity to tell you the truth about my stepsister. Oh. Now, I don't think anybody knows Kelly quite as well as I do. And at times she seemed a lot more than just a sister. Everybody knows the fun-loving Kelly, the life and soul of every party. But growing up alongside her, I've been able to see how tender and loving she can be. So Roy is the luckiest man alive. To Kelly and Roy. Kelly and Roy. Who did it? But just a bit of fun, Monday. Let's get something straight. One more practical joke and you're all dead. Kelly is having a five-star honeymoon with a five-star service. Or your lives won't be worth living. And the same goes for me too. So you lot better start working. to say uh, sorry about last night's little misunderstanding. I wouldn't want you to think that I always behave like that. It's just that uh, I've had too much to drink. There's no need to apologise, Mrs Windsor. It's just all forgotten now. Oh, okay. <laughs> I suppose you were lucky it was Viv who made a play for you. If it had been Kelly, things could have been a little more awkward. Uh, you should stop, sir. You don't approve of Kelly? I think I must be the only male around here that hasn't had the pleasure. <laughs> Does Ned I feel sorry for? Ned. Ned! Are you going to make a speech? Come on, Chris, you can see the man's drunk. Uh, shouldn't stop him welcoming his new daughter-in-law. <laughs> oh, you're right. Ned, don't. Oh. Gentlemen, can somebody just uh, do it? Thank you, darling. I'd like to say a few words. Now, you all know that I've been against this marriage from the start, but I decided to go along with it. Roy is the only child I've got left, and his happiness means everything to me. I have tried, but I cannot believe he'll ever be happy with someone like that. Dad. She's now but a scheming little tart, Roy. Everyone knows it. Roy! <laughs> Don't you dare talk about my sister like that. How can you do that? I'll leave it, Roy. He's just drunk. Don't let him spoil everything. Yeah, that's right. Go on. You two go and enjoy your honeymoon. Forget about this. Cheers, mate. You feel more like family than he does. Right. Mm. I'm sorry. If I knew we were going to behave like that, I'd have never let him come. Oh, you and that fool. Enough for that. Bitch, come on! We're going to be here any second. Now, is everything ready? 
Okay. Oh, it's like the doctors are in there. And remember what I said, no jokes. Yeah. Okay, okay, we got the message. Three Good evening, madam and sir. Welcome to Dingle Towers. <laughs> Don't you think you've had enough? I'm tossing red and grew my lovely. They've gone. The party's over. Time we went home. And perhaps you could tell me why you didn't turn up at the church. Taking the liberty of choosing a room service menu for you. I think you'll be pleased. Hey, there's still champagne waiting. Yeah. And I got you this. Now, I know Roy doesn't need turning oh. on. Oh. Oh. Sorry, mum, how you feel oh. good? Oh, man, you're the best. <laughs> we just want you to enjoy your stay. Yeah, don't worry. We will. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> 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 Nothing went like we planned it. And just as it seemed to be turning out right, Ned went and spoilt it. Yeah, well, it looks like he and Roy have finished now, so I doubt you'll be seeing them again. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear it. I don't want someone as cantankerous as that in my family. Well, of course not. No, you Windsors have always been known as a placid bunch. Still, you'll have your hands full now, what with Roy, Kelly, Scott and Donna all under the same roof. How are you going to cope? Well... I give Roy and Kelly all the respect they deserve as newlyweds. As long as they remember it's my house and my kitchen. Just come for your supper things, sir. I trust everything was to your satisfaction. Terrific. Our compliments to the chef. What's Cam? Oh, she's just getting ready for bed. We decided to have an early night. Very wise, sir. It's been a very eventful day. But it all turned out for the best, uh... I really don't know how to thank you for what you've done, man. Just glad to see you both happy. You nearly ready, Cal? I bought some more champagne. I'm just coming, Roy. <laughs> <laughs> 